In this video, we'll explain how to use Model Builder version 1.1. First, make sure you download the newest version of Model Builder from your app box. You'll find the Model Builder icon at the top of the screen if the installation has been completed successfully. As you can see, you can use pre-existing margin lines created in MedicScan. We'll explain this in depth later on in this video. Click the Model Builder app icon in a case with completed scans. Click Confirm after inputting the maxilla and mandible data. The first stage is Area Designation Mode. You can designate the scan data area you need to create your model. The area marked in mint color shows the scan data area that will be used to make the model. The program will automatically select the teeth area, but this can be changed. Use the Expand Selection slider to easily expand or shrink the area selected. You can choose your preferred view mode to see your data in split view or see the maxilla and mandible individually. When you've finished the area designation, click the next icon or click the next stage icon at the top. The second stage, edit mode, is a newly added stage in Model Builder version 1.1. Edit your scan data in edit mode. Trim unnecessary data. Fill empty holes. Edit data. The third stage is Alignment Mode. In Alignment Mode, select three or four points on the data to align with the occlusal plane. To reset, you can reselect these points. The data will realign with the occlusal plane. The fourth stage is the base creation mode. You can set the models base in this stage. First, choose the type of base. Model Builder provides three types of base shapes for you to choose from. Next, choose the base widths. The number shown on the right is the total height of the maxilla mandible base. Use Preview to see what the model will look like. You can set the model's base to be hollow to save on material. Use the Wall Thickness slider to adjust the thickness of the base. You can also create drain holes in the base. Adjust the number of holes, hole diameter, and distance from the base. The next stage, Die Creation Mode, is a brand new mode added to the Model Builder version 1.1. The die will be automatically created if the margin line has already been set during intraoral scanning. At this stage, Prepared teeth and adjacent teeth can be made into dies. If you want to add a die, click Add Die icon on the bottom. In the Form information, select the tooth number you want to create a die for. Select the tooth number and set the margin line. Click Exit when finished. The insertion path is automatically set based on the margin line and the die is complete. You can specify the area where the die would be created by making the boundaries of the tooth.
If you want to change the insertion path, use the green ball on the arrow to adjust accordingly. You can also rotate the model view and click Set Die Insertion Path from Viewpoint. Click the Cutout Dies, Extra Dies at the bottom. The Extra Dies option does not separate the model and the prepared tooth. Instead, it creates additional dies along with a trimmed base. Cutout Dies is an option that lets you create dies detachable from the base and creates a sectioned model. The next icon, Die Option, allows you to select detailed die creation options. For detailed information, please refer to the info box on the top left. Output options may vary by 3D printers. To easily cater to various 3D printers, after setting your options, click the preset icon and click plus to make custom presets. The next stage is articulator mode. You can create articulators in this stage. We highly recommend removing any overlapping areas between the maxilla and mandible. The program will automatically attach three articulators to the model. You can add up to two more and attach up to five or select articulators to delete them. You can also adjust the articulator's positions. The next stage is labeling mode that allows you to attach labels to the base. You can add the date created, patient name, clinic name, etc. on the base. Write what you would like on the label and select the font on the bottom label tab. You can also change the font size and depth and choose between embossing or engraving. Now you have successfully completed creating a model. Click Save icon to save your project. You can view your model in File Viewer. If you want to print your model, click Export and Save as an STL file. 